I should have listened to the warnings. Now I can't quit. I've been playing since I started four weeks ago, but I have a plan. My goal is to get a white loot bag, holding the rarest and best items in the game. If I can get one, I'll have no reason to keep playing and can go back to my life as a penguin farmer. Since the tutorial, I've been trapped. It said I was doing great. The positive reinforcement was already addicting me. I wanted more. Death in this game is permanent. Death anywhere is permanent, except for video games. It's a bullet hell game, so I tried to train my dodging skills. I was a failure. Shoot the evil chicken. You can't just call regular chickens evil and expect animal cruelty to be okay. White bags are like cocaine for people who play this game. One possible drop is the Sword of the Colossus, has higher DPS than all tier swords, and it looks awesome. I got my first bag, and it wasn't a white, but the thrill of loot was already seeping into my veins. Ring of Minor Defense, plus one. I play Skyblock for 10 hours to get plus one strength. This game had rewards I wasn't ready for. I entered the exalted kitchen and killed some humans. They dropped healing potions, and the hotkeys to use them are fuck. That has to be intentional. I killed the butcher of these innocent chickens, and he dropped a pink bag. It had a ring of plus three dexterity, making me shoot faster. Yes, in this game, swords can shoot. I moved on to the real world, the realm. With the tutorial over, I fought an elf wizard who dropped a portal to a forest maze. My first dungeon where I could test my skills against a boss. But first, of course, I had to get past squirrels with swords. That was a very quick turn from animal cruelty to animals being cruel. The problem with being intelligent is that I'm still bigger than you and I can step on you. More pink bags gave me tier 3 armor so I had some defense. Purple bags gave me stronger health potions so I can more effectively fuck. The boss is a gigantic moth, but moths are just worse versions of butterflies so I want them extinct. I'm pretty sure you can't be racist against animals. He dropped three bags. The pink had a seal ability which I haven't explained yet. The egg bag had an egg which I haven't explained yet. And the cyan bag had cool items which I haven't explained yet. I also haven't explained penguin farming. Okay, fine. Each class has a unique ability. Wizards have spell bombs, rogues go invisible, and paladins, like I'm playing, give health and damage buffs. I went from tier 0 to tier 1. You can get pets in this game, which you can't be cruel to. I already have a pet though, so I don't need a new one. It's a little elf. Wait, I just killed an elf wizard. Are you traumatized? Or is every creature in this world savage and ready to kill without question? And above the max tier is untiered items, usually super rare and found in white bags. But this is the easiest dungeon in the game, so I assume these are garbage trying to make new players feel good. Penguin farming is cold. Also, I got bored of killing elves and moths, so I teleported to the godland. I am now fighting a cyclops god at level 7. Two of his bullets would kill me, but I am a master of this game already. Being addicted makes you overconfident. My plan to get a white bag is to first get level 20. Then I'll join in on a group of people doing a difficult boss and steal their loot. No, someone died! Death is permanent. I'll never see you again. Uh, I can't say that name. Now that I'm level 9, I'm confident I can kill three gods at the same time. Addiction can make you take unwise risks for the sake of the one thing you are addicted to. Not thinking about anything else but the pixie enchanted sword. The best sword in the game. Oh, this is me and my friend Bjarg. We found a mysterious crystal that promises treasure inside. Though we don't have enough damage to open it. That may be my fault. Our addiction made us sit here for 15 minutes without leaving. Probably could have got to level 20 in that time. Eventually other people joined and we opened it up. Inside was a prisoner that was locked away for crimes against the universe. And we just freed him. Might have been a bad idea. I never liked the paladin anyway. The warrior, now this is a real class. He's the exact same as the paladin, but instead of giving health and damage, his helmets make him speedy. And in the fashion of speedrunning, I'm fighting gods at level one this time. See, I can survive one bullet, it's fine. I'm level six and I can solo the god. I'll circle around them, the nope! I didn't die there. If you ever feel in danger in this game, you can press tab and teleport back to the nexus safely. Meaning the only way good players die is getting one shot by staying on top of an enemy and taking all the bullets at once. Except I die differently because I'm overconfident. Are you ready for this? Parkour! I've got a flail, I can finally deal some damage. You need to deal at least 1% of the boss's health to even have a chance to get a white bag. Then it is random chance. And flails are actually better than swords because they look cooler. We went from killing animals to killing nature itself. We are deforesting the world so that Oryx the Mad God will try to fight us and we can take his loot. Eventually I reached level 20. The next step before getting white bags is increasing your stats beyond their natural state. We have to start doping hard. Killing strong enemies sometimes drops potions that permanently increase your stats. So I went inside a god dungeon. It's guaranteed to drop one potion, but if there's other people in the dungeon and they deal more damage than you, they might steal your loot. I'm convinced friendship only has bad effects. I was looking through my menu for a way to delete friends, then I disconnected. I played this to get away from Hypixel. Why are connection issues following me? Wait, does that mean the problem is me? It seems to be fine. Everything is fixed. Nope, he's going through walls. I have rejoined and there's an event boss. Come on, I'm level 20. I should deal more damage now. Ah, it's there. A new bag. One of the greatest bags. A potion bag. Inside is a potion of vitality. 
coffee. If I drink this, my health will regenerate 1% faster. When you're overconfident and don't nexus in time, it could save me. Also, you can drink 40 of them before maxing. And here was my first encounter of a mess of bullets. You can't see which bullets are killing you and which are your teammates. You just stand in the middle and hope someone picked Priest and is healing you. Wait, the ground is shaking. What's happening? After we killed all his trees, Oryx the Mad God summoned us to his castle to fight him. We did murder all his pet creatures and trees. I think it's kind of fair that he's mad. This is where friendship is very useful. I couldn't get through this alone, but I will try DDoSing them when we get to the chest. At the top of the castle are two stone guardians. One of them dropped a cyan bag. I got new armor that gives me four defense. Not as good as a white bag that has the best katana in a game. I want a white bag. Time to fight the final boss of the game. Well, it was the final boss in 2012. Now there are 57 harder bosses and anyone can solo this guy. But I'm on the Australian server and we suck at video games, so I had to Nexus. Let's swap over to the US servers where people are actually good. This gameplay is exciting. I'll try again in a bit. For now, I'm entering a sprite world. Having more people means the boss dies faster, but they'll probably steal all the good loot. Oh my god, a white bag! I have achieved my quest! That was quicker than expected. The white bag drop was the summoning weapon the BR was using. But I'm a warrior. I can't use a summoner weapon. So I'm using that as an excuse to continue my addiction and not count it. I need a white bag that can be used by a warrior, a sword or a helmet. My quest continues. Oh, I made it into the US server. This game isn't dead. Some people actually play it. Well, they are all AFK sitting in the nexus, so maybe they are all dead. Now we can run dungeons together. The more people there are, the more loot the boss drops, so if you deal some damage, it's a pretty good system. Also, I'm a slug. Now I'm a dancing ant. Ah, oh, I'm human again. I got inside a pirate dungeon with 80 people, and we killed a crab who just wanted to prove to his parents that he could make it as a dancer. He was wrong. He should have become a lawyer like they wanted. Now he's dead. This group did more and more pirate dungeons. I was getting potions closer to maxing this character. Soon I'll be out of solo bosses and get the white bags. We moved on to a spider dungeon. There were bullets everywhere. I was bleeding. I couldn't dodge. I tried to nexus, but I was too late. I hated the warrior anyway. Summoner is the real class. The summoner ability deals a lot of damage and she dies in one hit. I can actually use the white bag that I got before and I'm lucky I didn't equip it. I guess I shouldn't go into endgame dungeons level 1 and just level normally by eradicating the local fauna, but that got boring so I took revenge on the crystal prisoner. This summoner is squishier than the paladin or warrior, but it does have triple the range and has an ability that places turrets to attack for me. I can just leave the screen while they fight and I got an attack potion at level 8. You can't even see the boss on the screen but I still get drops. This feels like cheating. This is the avatar of the Forgotten King. His dungeon has some of the best white bags in the whole game. I'm probably not ready for this. Why did I think this was a good idea? Oh yeah, the addiction side effects. Not even close. We're going back to Oryx for revenge. He literally invites us into his castle, then we break in and murder his star. Why is it in every video game we play as the villain? After killing the Guardians, I learned about a secret boss that isn't Oryx. It's called Anus? Oh, Janus. It's pronounced Janus. So we killed Janus and entered the portal it dropped and I'm all alone. Oh, everyone else went and killed Oryx the Innocent God. I cleared the forest again to get another chance at Oryx. Ran through the castle, killed the guardians, killed the anal boss, then ran down to the Oryx portal after killing it. Here we go, Oryx's chamber. How do you know if you're safe with all these bullets? I guess just look at your health and Nexus if it gets low. Or just blindly hope if you're overconfident like me. We killed him! And I got nothing. But that wasn't the true boss. He actually escaped into his wine cellar. He's much more powerful while drunk, just like my father. I stayed very far away and used my turrets. Thrown wine bottles are very dangerous. It died and I got a top one of the best weapons in the game in 2012. Also, he actually escaped again, this time into his cocaine cellar, but I'm not strong enough to chase him down yet. I went down to Davy Jones' locker and unlocked her. Everyone did the work while I tried to get my damage in for better drops. The server was restarting. There's a bonus chest because of a pirate event. This has to be it. The chest will give me a white. Nope, just more pots. So we did the dungeon again, and this time I almost died so I couldn't damage the boss much. My only chance is the chest. Come on, I'm counting on this. I got a captain's ring. It's a rare UT, but it's in a cyan bag. Wait, over there. There, down there. What, what is that? That's a white bag! I got it from the actual boss. It's so beautiful. This is all I ever wanted to see. What's inside my white bag? A powerful weapon that'll make me rule this game? It's for the Kenzai class. I can't use this. Very difficult to hit enemies without dashing through them. And I'm back in queue. One more chance. I want to summon a weapon. I can rush dungeons alone now. I'm guaranteed to get the pot so I can regenerate mana 1% faster so I can deal more damage so I can get more loot so I can deal 1% more damage so I can get more loot so I can- The ground is shaking again. This time, I want to kill the real Oryx, number three. He drops the best white bags in the game. I got a whiz pot and no 
someone opened the cocaine cell. So I did it again. Come on, this is the one. I've never seen this many people fight Oryx before. I smelt the wine on my face. I made my allies' shots invisible so I could dodge. And they did it. They opened Oryx's sanctuary. The hardest dungeon in the entire game. I can fight the true Oryx. As soon as you enter the dungeon, a treasure chest attacks you. Everyone seems scared and moving slowly. We went down a long hallway. Like, really long. Where is the end of this? Okay, here we are. The first boss. There are flying knives. How do I dodge? Oh, I don't dodge it. I die. I am done. I am getting the white bag. I know a 100% method. First, kill a horse. Then enter its own cemetery. Disturb the dead and kill their skeletons. Battle the spookiest character in any video game. The final boss is a wave of zombies and death himself. Get paralyzed and almost die in a cemetery to save time. Then kill the boss. It didn't drop a white bag. But if I take proof that I killed it to the forge, I can sacrifice all my captain's rings to create the white bag that would have dropped. I now have a brand new white bag summoner weapon that is apparently marginally useful. Finally, I can relax and farm. This is boring. I'm gonna go become top one in blooms, for real.